part of Kreising, uh, but we did stop to get some water, which was just around the bend from our two-day mooring spot. And we had a lovely chat with a couple who had about 20 questions about life <laughs> on a narrowboat. So that was really nice, just to give them a bit of an idea of what it's like to live on board a narrowboat and the costs and that sort of thing. Pointed them to a few of our videos because we have discussed this on the channel before. But today we are continuing towards Leeds and we're not actually going very far today. We've decided we're only going to go about six miles. And this is because the three locks that we put off doing last time, <laughs> we've, we're going to do them today, but then not very far from them is another stretch of about two miles. It's got about 12 locks in it. And we're not very keen on doing all of those today. Yeah, not, we, yeah, we don't not, know. Yeah. We don't know if there's a lot of like moorings in between the locks, so we yeah. thought we'll do the three locks today, go a little bit further and then moor up somewhere before the next 12, yeah. which start going down. So we've got these three locks which go up and then, they're and all then down it's again. all downhill to Leeds. Leeds. That sounds really bad. I don't mean like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it's all downhill as in everything goes wrong. <laughs> Just the canal goes downhill. out we've read the maps completely wrong and we're actually already at the topmost point of the Leeds Liverpool Canal and all the locks now are going downwards so the three locks that we're doing today are downward locks not upward locks <laughs> maybe we should really read those maps a bit better <laughs> Down all the way? Down all the way. There are so many different types of paddles on the Leeds of Liverpool. I think there's like the sixth, fifth or sixth one. Like the other one was like a lever that you had to pull up. The one it's, at the top had like, was similar to this, but it had one handle. And yeah. this one's like a double handle one. And then you've got your traditional one that you see on most canals, where it's like oh. the gate paddle. Oh. If it hadn't been for that boat going up, I wouldn't have known to pull that handle up yeah, because to the, open the ground paddle. The sign on the floor that said lift was covered in grass. It was. <laughs>
pre-locks done for today that we were going down instead of up. <laughs> yeah. I don't it's... know why we convinced ourselves that it was three going up and then the rest were going down. No, we knew at some point around here they started going down, but we thought it was not those ones. Oh, anyway, we're through those. They were quite heavy. Some different paddle contraptions that we hadn't come across. <laughs> we were being very cautious going down those locks because they are 60 foot locks and we're a 60 foot narrowboat so there's not a lot of wiggle room and we were a bit worried that we might not fit because we might get caught on the sill and so we were being careful with emptying the water and watching where the sill line was on the wall of the, the lock and making sure that we weren't going to end end up on it yeah and disaster but <laughs> luckily we had kind of just just enough room getting out when we were opening the gate doors sorry the lock doors the lock gates even yeah. <laughs> get there in the end uh, when we were opening opening the lock gates we kind of had to maneuver the boat sometimes just a little bit to give us just enough room to nudge the nose around the lock gate and out yeah. but we made it yeah now we're just going to continue on as far as we really kind of feel like and more up. I'm hot after doing those locks. Yes, the they gates were, were very heavy. Like the canal side sprung a leak, <laughs> but like into, into the, canal, the canal instead of out. <laughs> Where is it coming from? I don't know. It's like there's a hill there, there's no. Yeah, but most of that land is lower than the canal. We've managed to find a very quiet little, very small stretch of Armco that we've yeah. <laughs> we've chained onto. Literally just long enough for a boat and maybe half a boat. <laughs> maybe a small boat. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to stay here for probably two days because we've got a meeting tomorrow that yeah, yeah. we have to have internet for and we've got good very internet. good internet here as well. So, <laughs> so yeah. So we can get some work done. Oh, Pixel's just having a bit of a... I think she enjoys the mooring spot too. She likes the mooring spot, yeah. She's having a snuffle in the long grass. Yeah. You having a snuffle, Pixel? Me? Hey? Is she still having a nice time out there? Yeah. wind is definitely chilly. Yeah. Whew. On this cloudy day, which is supposed to be only partly cloudy, yeah. <laughs> it's most definitely mostly cloudy. <laughs> I think I can see a barest hint of blue sky. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, but today we are planning to go through hopefully about 12 locks through the town of Gargrave on our way towards Skipton. We don't think we're gonna get all the way to Skipton, even though it is only eight miles from uh, here. We've got 12 locks to do. <laughs> and the locks along this stretch are difficult. They're difficult, yeah. But not so much difficult, just time consuming and energy draining. Yeah. We Especially are... when you do it by yourself. If there's another boat, it's not so bad. Yeah, but yeah. We just never seem to be going down at the same time as another boat or up at the same time as another boat. So <laughs> it's that's definitely point. quieter on this canal. It is, it's definitely a lot quieter on this canal. It's starting to get a little bit busier as we get towards Skipton because I know there's a higher boat company at Skipton, so we're seeing a lot more higher boats, but it is still a lot quieter considering it's summer. Yeah. Supposedly. Supposedly summer. You're wearing a, <laughs> wearing a, jumper. a jumper. It's supposed to be just past the middle of summer too, you know? Yeah. It's supposed to be really hot. <laughs>
of those locks done. Uh, luckily, or fortunately, yeah. there was a lovely couple who helped us down the first flight of six. six? Or yep. Was it seven? No, six. six. Yeah. yeah, they helped us down the first. They were walking their dog, and they've got a boat that was moored at the top, <laughs> and they, yeah, they just helped us down, which was really nice. Yeah. And then we went through the next six, and most of the time there were boats coming up through the locks so yeah. it was generally set for us and open and ready for us to head into so that was and good. a couple of lock keepers as well a couple of lock keepers yeah so yeah it was good we are now about three and a half miles from the town of Skipton we're not sure if we'll get there today kind of where we're aiming for but <laughs> at the same time if we find a nice spot we're not averse to mooring there yeah, for the yeah. night <laughs> So we're just gonna kind of see how we go, just wing it. Yeah, exactly. That's what we always do. That's all we always do. Yeah, <laughs> find a nice spot with good internet. Yeah, that's our spot for the night. We've just realised there's a couple of swing bridges between here and. Skipton. Skipton, which the couple who helped us down the locks did warn us about and I'd completely forgotten. <laughs> it's also mentioned on the map, but I just kind of look for the locks. I don't really keep an eye out for swing bridges. Yeah, they're much rarer than the locks. They are much rarer, yeah. Oh well, not to worry. Oh, she's distracted. <laughs> she's distracted. We've made it to Skipton. Uh, we've moored up. Yep. <sighs> it's quite a nice little town so far. Yeah, yeah. From what we've seen of it. So yeah. we're going. We haven't had any lunch. So, <laughs> and it's three o'clock, <laughs> just past three o'clock. So we are going to actually go and find a pub <laughs> and get some food. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, Victor. Let's go. What? <laughs> Thank you. 
Going in the castle. Going in the castle. Is that the dungeon down there? Yeah, that's where I'm going down. <laughs> small dungeon. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Maybe like a whole series of cells. I don't know how many prisons were to keep really, would you? Yeah. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> She's not interested. People. So many people and so many puppers. <laughs>